This is bowling skill, as described by yours truly, Ted Husing, and these velvety bowling greens are in Arroyo Seco Park, Los Angeles. The sport of lawn bowling dates back 4,000 years, and today is popular around the world. First, the jack ball is rolled out by the side, which has won the toss. This starts the contest. Then the idea is to get the ball close to the jack by displacing the opponent's closest ball with a direct or carom shot. These two champs are the Dana brothers. Al, the younger, is world champion at singles, and with his brother William, holds the national doubles championships. The green is 120 feet long. Watch that ball. I think you've got something there, champ. The ball is biased or lopsided. Now the ball nearest the white ball, or jack, counts one point, and all balls inside the opponents likewise count one point. The ball can be made to curve as much as four feet in a 100-foot roll on this smooth green. An expert, like either of the Dana brothers, has uncanny control over these lawn balls. Pretty close. Here comes ball number three. In singles, each player rolls four balls. When the balls curve on the right side, it is called a forehand, and on the left side, a backhand. Say, that's marvelous. Close figuring, eh, boys? And here comes ball number eight. Usually a winning shot knocks the jack away from all the other balls, yet trails the jack. And there goes the ball game. At the Laguna Beach Club, we found a spider or jackpot roll. The jack is placed in the center, and all contestants stand in a large circle. Then at the signal, all roll for the jack. And whoever rolls his ball nearest the jack collects the jack from all the others. Maybe they pay two bits a piece, maybe a million, who knows? But it's a plenty sporty stunt. The official leaves no room for argument. He checks the distance with a caliper. And the gold rush is on to find out the lucky winner. But only one guy collects. Yes, this beats bank night. Now we present duck pins, a popular type of bowling. Ah, but why shouldn't it be popular? Here is a bevy of beauties from the Earl Carroll Theater at the Hollywood Outdoor Lanes. Say, I would duck anything to bowl in this league. Uh-oh. Usually played on indoor alleys, it nevertheless is popular outdoors in warm climates. Do you know that bowling is America's leading competitive sport? There are more bowlers than golfers and tennis players combined. Yes, twice as many. 12 million men, women, and youngsters bowling regularly. A strike is all down with one ball, and a spare is all down with two balls. But in duck pins, you are allowed a third ball. Hello there. Oh, you should be able to get a strike or anything else your little heart desires, honey. Down they go, much to the amazement of the pin girl in the gallery. They grab them by the handle, sister. They won't strike you. Set them up, toots. We're going on to more serious rolling. No, not a Civil War munitions plant, but the famous Sunset Bowling Alleys in Hollywood, the largest of its kind in the world, where more than 250 contestants can be accommodated at once. 52 bowlers firing in line and each hopeful of a strike, always reaching for that perfect score of 300 or 12 consecutive strikes. Yet among the 12 million bowlers in all their millions of games each year, less than 300 games with a score of 300 are rolled. In 10 years, there have been only 16 women who rolled the perfect score. Another interesting fact is that there are 30,000 players entered annually in the bowling championships rolling for $200,000 in prize money. And in 44 years of these championships, only four of these perfect 300 scores have been rolled. A modern touch, 
When the bowler steps across the foul line, he breaks an electric beam, which rings the bell and announces his error. A scorecaster projects results over each set of pins. A break retards the speeding ball on the return. Bowling on 40,000 alleys in this country alone are millions trying for strikes and spares. But let's forget statistics and study more intimate shots. At the Wilshire Recreation Alleys in Los Angeles, we present Gene Gagliotti, former Worlds and ABC Singles Champion. It looks good. Yes, very good. It's a strike. Observe how the ball hits the pins. A hit perfectly between either the one and two or one and three pins usually is a strike with all pins down. When the ball hits directly in the center, it seldom causes a strike. And in this instance, leaves number 10 standing. Why, that's a cinch. So Gene quickly puts number 10 away. In this split with the three, seven, and 10 standing, the ball hits number three and is deflected to hit number 10. And number three has knocked off number seven. This is dubbed the YMCA split. This is the number one, seven, eight, and 10 split, a tough one. This triple split is in reality a trick, not encountered in regular bowling, but a very difficult shot to make. Down they go. This billiard shot shows deflection of the speeding ball by the pins. Simple when you know how. The two alley three pin jump shot is a clever trick. Watch it again. Wowie, it seldom fails with Gagliotti. A better jump shot is the four pins in one alley and one pin on the adjoining alley. This is a swell trick, if you can borrow a couple of alleys to try it out on. This is Gagliotti's 40-pin special split. And he makes it. It's no fake, boys. Here it is again. Now he places the pins in single line, but curved to make the shot more difficult. Then he gives the ball a gentle but very slight roll. Come on, baby, pick that lonesome pin off. Swell, nice shot, couldn't do better myself. Say, this is no one's birthday, no, not too many candles for that. Just a clever stunt to show that a good bowler is not bothered by any distractions if he has the power to concentrate. Good luck, Gene. There he goes. Smack him down, kid. Too bad, missed by one. That's right, if at first you don't succeed, well, oh, I'll be quiet, Gene. Come on, try it again. Smacko, good rolling, big boy. What's next? Oh, you're going to let the girlfriend roll. Is she good, too? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only way discovered by man to make a double strike. Two alleys, 20 pins with one ball. It works. Vibration is the cause. Ready for another roll, but the girlfriend has a different idea. Tit for tat. Anything once, says Jean. No kidding, this took months of practice to perfect. Let her roll. And it's good. Thanks, Gene. So long, champ. 